year, uh, the Nobel Prize on Physics was awarded to three researchers. Anton Zillinger from Austria, uh, University of Vienna. John Clauser from the United States, University of Columbia. And Alain Aspe, uh, the French researcher from the Polytechnique and the, they call the University of uh, Paris-Saclay. So they reward uh, a discovery, the experimental work and the theoretical work on quantum entanglement. Well, this looks like very complicated. Now, the, the quantum entanglement means that two quantum particles behave like if they were a single one. So whatever happens to one will reflect to what happens to the second one, even though they might be separated by thousands of kilometers. But this is a very intriguing phenomenon. Uh, physicists have discovered for decades about what is the origin of this phenomenon. Is there an exchange of something between the two particles, like hidden variables? Or it is even maybe not true, because n nobody has ever observed it. And, and the three researchers in the beginning of the 80s have proven experimentally First, that this is an intrinsic quantum property of the quantum materials, and that uh, uh, this is real, and they have observed it and applied to some physical experiments. So this is a very fantastic scientific discovery that has really changed the view on the quantum physics. Well, indeed, it might be intriguing that the people are rewarded 40 years after their discovery. But the reason is that, and everybody knows uh, uh, as we speak, that today we talk about quantum revolution, which is called the second quantum revolution. Because people start to talk about quantum computing, quantum communication, quantum sensors. And all these three applications, actually, they use this quantum entanglement. So they would not be possible without the discovery. But you see, it takes years, it takes decades to transform a scientific discovery to a practical application. So in a way, the, the, the Nobel Award uh, uh, awards an idea, a discovery that now becomes to be a practical one. So science, technology, industry, economy, and society. This is the reason of why today. For us it's a joy because many of us, and that's my case, we, we know Alain for, for a long time, we are friends. Uh, and of course it's a proud for, for, for friends to have a, a, another Nobel Prize on, on physics. But beyond that, you might remember that we have in our, let's say, scientific research ecosystem already two uh, Nobel Prizes, Albert Fert, which uh, uh, work in our laboratory and uh, following his uh, his idea, we are now developing uh, what is called neurocomputing with nanotechnologies. We also enjoyed a collaboration with Gérard Mourou, who is a Nobel Prize uh, on very high power lasers. And thanks to this idea, we have been the industrial actors that have installed the world most powerful laser in Romania, which is called Eli NP. And now the, the third uh, uh, Nobel Prize, uh, Alain, actually is our interface to the highest level of academia on quantum, which is one of the highest priority of the group as well. So uh, it's both, I would say, proximity, friendship, but also direct impact to what we are doing.